Okay, focus, 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 focus. First of all, I want to say that I am really ashamed for uploading a video on Monday, yet I'm supposed to be uploading every every Sunday. So I am really ashamed. But anyways, let me fix some goodies here. So anyways, guys, this won't happen again. And uh, yeah, so I'm really ashamed. And I hope uh, it won't happen again. I'm just hoping. You know, people get busy and you know stuff like that. And you're not able to upload videos and stuff like that. To get busy with the live. <laughs> stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, yo? Okay. Time to start. One minute down. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hug Delicious. My vlog is Hagalicious vlog. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe and feel welcome. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do because you're missing a lot. And uh, I'm targeting 1,000 subscribers, and I'm hoping to get them soon because you know I need mo some motivation and stuff like that. Anyways, this dress outfit of today i bought it in germany and it's the little cutest dress outfit that i have every time i have this on my ego is 100 percent if you all know what i'm talking about you know it's a mini uh jumpsuit you feel me you feel me and it was really expensive i have to say that because yo he anyways welcome back to my channel i have to do that again and start afresh welcome subscribe to my channel and spread the gospel that how delicious is on youtube you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying anyways let's start so today we're going to talk about football you know so i felt that i should talk about football because oh my god was it on Saturday that we had Sweden versus Germany? Really went. Whoo! It went. Whoo! 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 It went crazy. So, this is one match that I decided to watch in a bar. And oh my god. So, I went to O'Leary's. It's a worldwide club, but it's set up here. It, it's There's a new club here in Beko. They just opened. And it's really awesome and really big so I decided to go watch this match there because the hype was really crazy Swedes were going all over this match was really hot and I had all my hundred percent that Sweden is gonna win you know I have to support my my peeps you know so I didn't have a jersey so all I could do is wear a yellow sweater at least to show that I'm representing and so I went with my two friends the hype was crazy in town oh my god I felt at some point like I was in Russia and oh my you have no idea when you I have an idea because I've always been in Kenya when my runners win someone feels so good so to be somewhere near russia and supporting one european country much it felt so great so i went to olives and uh everybody was having tables were well, like fully booked this is a bowling place by the way so what i decided because i don't drink like you all didn't know i quit drinking by the way so i bought uh like a soft drink and went to the bowling side because nobody was playing bowling and it was all empty and seats and there were big screens so I decided me and my friends we can watch the team here because I didn't wanna uh, be all over in between the suites and all that because I also didn't want to see the reaction in case we lost but I was hoping for us to win you know and again you know you can't be like when they score you're all over yeah because I really get over excited when the team that I'm supporting wins and I didn't want I wanted my free space where nobody will judge me they'd be like look at this one eh? look at this one now why are you screaming is it your team you're just here as an immigrant you know how people can speak and first of all eh? 
people should stop calling people immigrants it's expa expatriate expatriate you know or tourist call me an, a tourist call me an expatriate call me something that i will like don't call me an immigrant ain't nobody immigrant okay so i went to the bowling side where it wasn't really packed and stuff like that it was kind of vip lounge you know there were not pe many people so oh my god we score one game I felt like I wanted to take a shot of whiskey but I couldn't and then after we scored I was like yay yay so I was thinking hmm now my hype we're gonna win this I need to like uh, play bowling yeah, but bowling is really expensive my friends they want to play but they don't want to pay and I knew if I pay like it's around 5,000 Kenyan shillings like 5,000 for one game and it's not something that I'm going home with you know but I won't pay but I felt like if I pay and my friends will start playing my game you know spoiling for me yet they didn't pay so I just said if you're not gonna pay just don't let me know pay you know and we just stay like that oh my god so we are like one zero and break like it's half time and then later on people were really excited you know and everybody was like you're feeling like saying hi to everybody and stuff like that until now after now after half time so everybody comes everybody now they are waiting for the game you know hype 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 like we really want to win until germany scored the first and it was draws now the tension started like you know and then there was one of my friend who is Iran. He was supporting Germans. You know, you can't do that. You yes, you can support another team, but don't show your happiness, especially when you when you're in that country. You know, you feel me? It's for example a European in Kenya, and they're supporting Uganda, and they are in a Kenyan club and screaming all that. Yet you're surrounded by Kenyans. You don't do that. So this guy, we ask, I ask him, why are you supporting Germans? Like you should stay at home and support that. Don't show your happiness here. People are going to get angry at you, you know? Support, at least show support, first of all. It's the least you can do is cut us, you know? So this guy, we told him he can't shout. Even if he's supporting, just fake it. Pretend. So we are, we are like now praying for time to like go, at least we were praying for draws, but <laughs> so the worst thing is that the person that made us lose, especially the last one minute, like it sucks. I always, I'm always, I've always been saying, I wish if Germans knew they were gonna win, I wish they did it even before half time, you know, that one is, it's not painful, but the fact that they scored the last one minute so freaking annoying you know so this guy was we, we couldn't shout and then he goes downstairs and he sees his uh his uh iran friends and they couldn't he was saying they can't they're like you know you can't shout and that's why i was saying that if you know <laughs> you're not support if you know it especially if you're not swede and you're not supporting sweden don't stay in between them because you're just gonna get them angry you know and they really get angry like that is bullshit you can't be in sweden you're supporting another team so everybody was angry i remember when i was walking out guys were like a red faces you know it's easy to read uh uh white people because if they're angry if they're happy their faces turn red everybody was looking at blaming everybody and then the, to make the matters worse the person that caused us to lose the game is an immigrant it's an expatriate and he's Iran come to watch news the following day this guy makes a statement he's a midfielder Jimmy Jimmy Durmas Jimmy Durmas I don't know his pronunciation but the first one I know it's Jimmy so apparently this guy got threats and guys were so pissed they went to his dm spamming him with insults they're just gonna come for his family and stuff like that i was shocked like like really football can be really this sensitive oh my god 
this crap needs to end you know you know what i'm saying it can never be that serious people make mistakes oh my god i was just watching him make a statement and saying all these things like i i am i love sweden i'm swedish and even if i'm not i don't have blue eyes i don't have blonde hair you all need to understand that uh, I'm Swedish and I love my country, you know, and it's really hurting to hear, to see him say all that to just try and make it right like he did it intentionally. He did not do it intentionally. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. You know, you guys are just going to threaten even the whole other people, good players that they won't even want to join because they are threatened if they win, if they lose. They don't feel safe like people don't do that jesus but if what if he won you'll be there not even caring who he is or what he did or whatever he is where he comes from but the fact that he lost you all are on his dm like sweets please anyways all that being said i feel if i keep talking people will spam my youtube so i need to shush but people need to love People make mistakes and don't blame people for a mistake. We're human, we're, we're meant to do mistakes. And football, really? Really? Football? I'm really waiting to see this World Cup and see where it ends because now I can feel the tension. My um, uh, Swedish coach was fighting the German coach. Like, football can be really, uh, I don't know. I really I have I am out of words, you know. Like I thought stuff like football, Olympics, stuff like that should bring other countries together and we get to show our talents. But if you lose, accept and move on. If you win, accept and move on. You just don't have to rub it in everybody's eyes. And the fact that such a guy is playing in such a big platform and you just sit there and try to blame him, like, dude, you need to check your life. Hello? He is making it. He's playing a World Cup, not just any game. That guy is making it. Jimmy, Jimmy Durmas, I can't pronounce your name, but I'm sorry, honey. But Jimmy, this is a word from Haga. You're a good player, you go do you, okay? Do not be intimidated by anything. You got it. You're in that World Cup playing for a country that you, oh my God, I even don't know. But just feel proud of yourself and keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. You can't be compared with people who are judging you. Hello? You're a World Cup player, like, if I was the one, things people could be saying mean to me will be passing from this year and coming out from the other year, you know? I wouldn't give a shit at all. Anyway, I don't want to go there because I'm going to get sensitive. With that being said, thank you guys. Again, I will not be late to upload my vlog again. And I apologize for doing it today. And it will not happen again you know you know what i'm saying you feel me anyway guys i don't want this vlog to be long so bye for today and see you on my next vlog okay peace oh one one pause take a screenshot for those who want to take a screenshot yes dress from germany